Zeng Chang Qing. I'm, I'm from the Beihao University, and I'm running the Intelligent Computing and the Machine Learning Lab there. So I'm a associate professor, and uh, my research interest is about machine learning and data mining, and also their applications in the real world. I call myself a mathematician or a computer scientist. I'm not an electrical engineer, because all, I, all, all the work I have done is about like uh, setting, you know, so, sorry, working on the uh, mathematical models and then trying to implement some algorithms. It's not like the real electrical engineer. Because uh, I'm from academia and many people and also many audience and speakers today are from business, right? From the real industry. So uh, first I want to give all the people some like a tutorial about data mining for the people who don't know what data mining is. So I give some applications, especially like writing, sorry, handwriting recognition, speech recognition, all the examples to make sure people understand what the data mining is. And another part is the uh, the future, future data mining, and what kind, what kind of application could be very very useful for data mining in the future. I just named three of them. But these are just my interests, but you know, it's not limited to three. So which is, uh, sorry, which are semantic search, how you know, search engine understanding the semantics of the query. And the uh, second one is the, uh, the uh, personalized services. And how, you know, I give the example of Google and Microsoft, how they use such data, personal data, to provide the user a better service. And you know, and the third one is behavior mining. Just like uh, we we just start from a very simple mathematical model, trying to use this data, data mining technology to understand uh, the behavior of one agent. So one agent could be one person, or could be one company, or one you know, one, one group. So agent is a kind of you know very technical term in in, in our search. So in this presentation, I'm tried my best to you know not use any mathematical equations trying to give the intuitive understanding about what I'm talking about. So I just use a lot of examples and applications and hopefully you know the audience can get some taste from the examples I have been given. So it's a very good question and so just like what I mentioned in my presentation, I'm not expert in data center, but you know I'm a data lover. I've been working on the data for nearly 10 years. So uh, for, for, for example, for, your, for those clients who have the data center infrastructures, they have a huge data and they have uh, some very smart way to manage this data. Maybe I'm considering the next thing they need to worry about is how to extract the most useful information from this data. So this is data mining is about. So that's, that's how I see the, the it's a correlation or relationship between the presentation I have, I have given uh, to this conference. Um, the tips and advices, because uh, if you want, if you're trying to understand, whether you know, very deeply about this thing, you you, you have to get a PhD. So you know this is a very mathematical and computing thing. But if you uh, want to know more about data mining and its application in the world, it's sort of in the future world, and you can actually uh, read a lot of the magazine, IT magazine articles about data mining. Also, simply you can Google. Data mining to see the Wikipedia how you know they, they explain the data mining about. So data mining is about how to find out the patterns from a big database, and this patterns is because you're interested in pattern because this pattern will be very useful for you or for your business. So if you know, I think many companies are facing this problem because they have huge data and they know there are some useful information in the data but they don't know how to get this useful information from this data. So we have to get some very smart way or mathematical way to do this. So this is a bit more. They need effort from both sides in my point of view because from the, um, the company like Google's, they need to develop a better search engine for the user. Especially, you know, just like you can understand the semantic meaning of the user. You know what is the user asking about, right? your the user. Uh, it's just, this is about understanding the user's query semantic meaning. Uh, but on another part, if a user, you know, sometimes the technology has a bottleneck, 
it doesn't mean they can you know go further and further to satisfy the users. User has sometimes have to learn some system tips, you know, to to you know to, to search to find out what they need very efficiently. So I think that this kind of a question is for both sides. And if you, for example, if you, if you are illiterate, it's very hard to find anything from the internet, right? But if you're very educated, if you learn some tips, and you know how to you know, use the search engine, maybe you can do much better. But also from the, uh, the company side, if they give you the very simple, uh, just like Google, very simple window, just type in what you want it to do, and they can analyze behind it, that would be the best, that would be the future. Okay, so the first thing uh, about this impression about the conference is very professional, it's, it's very good, and of course, very nice place. <laughs> and uh, actually, I do enjoy you know, attending this conference, and I met many interesting people, especially from different areas. Actually, from data centers, you know, I actually, myself, I'm not, you know, I'm not very familiar with the data center industry, and today, I learned very really a lot. So and also you can see the opportunity of you know connecting the data mining and data center technologies and could be very useful, you know. And currently they are setting some infrastructure about data centers and then later on maybe we can add some some smart way, some bring into this infrastructure and make this infrastructure work, you know, more efficiently or more intelligently. So that could be a you know a very good direction of a data center.